Here's something that the most powerful entrepreneurs know, but the average person doesn't. Growing your business is actually about growing yourself. Let me repeat that again. Growing your business is actually about growing yourself. Most of us think of our professional identities in terms of what we contribute at the workplace, which we perceive to be expansive and complex from the skills and the output that we are capable of offering, which we largely perceive to be finite. And this is where we make our first mistake. I'd like to tell you the story of a colleague of mine named Juan, who came to work for the global education company Mind Valley under particularly extraordinary circumstances. I had heard through the grapevine that Juan's interview had been an unusual one. Naturally, I was intrigued and so I wanted to hear it from the man himself. So I invited Juan out for lunch, hoping that he would spare me a few details. Sitting down to eat, I prepared myself for an extraordinary story. You can imagine my surprise when Juan summed up the whole experience in one single sentence. He simply stated, at my interview, I gave Mind Valley a personal guarantee. If I didn't get them the results they were looking for, I would return them every cent they paid me. Who in their right mind gives a guarantee at a job interview? Most of us head into the experience seeking confirmation that we will be properly compensated for the work. But most of us, as it turns out, are thinking about our potential incorrectly. What made Juan's approach so unique and so utterly brilliant is that he realized something that very few people come to understand. Most of us see our potential as limited. Therefore, we fear giving too much of it away. We want to save our best ideas for ourselves. We want to be compensated appropriately for the contributions that we make. But coming into his interview at Mind Valley, one knew something that was incredibly profound. What he realized is if you're able to tap into what is limitless inside you, you will realize that there is no end to your professional value and to your creative potential. There is no end to the results that you might reap. The secret to success, as it turns out, is not to hide away the best parts of yourself in order to maximize value. The secret is to be continuously clearing away your second best idea in order to make room for the better one that's hiding behind it. The one that can only be realized once you have broken through your current frame of reference. Because that is how true abundance operates. If you get fixated on what you get back in exchange of the work, you will never be operating to your full potential. If you're focused on what you can add to your environment through your work, there is no limit to what you can achieve. When Juan walked in for his interview at Mind Valley, he quickly earned something that people would invest years to achieve. Juan earned trust because he was so confident about the value he could provide. And he was so eager to provide it that he wasn't focused on the return. He knew it would come because Juan knew there was no such thing as providing too much value. There is no such thing as expressing too much of your potential. There is no such thing as running out of resources that is your own mind. There is no limit on the impact you can have on the world. Because your value doesn't cheapen when you share it, it multiplies. And your potential to achieve the extraordinary multiplies alongside it.